What's up YouTube? How's it going? <clears throat> Back again for another random video. Well, I never thought I'd have to make this video. I'll try to make it as quick as I can. Uh, I went to the store the other day and I never buy video games. My Xbox Live expired. I had a Kinect I wanted to get rid of. Bunch of old Forza games I finally beat. Because I have a life. Sorry. I can't play games all day. So I went in and I got Forza 6. I got so much of a trade back because I signed up with a Platinum card. If any Canadians are watching for EB Games. Anyways, I had some extra money and I picked up this piece of shit. Now this game has been out for like what? Six, seven months now? If you've not played it or know nothing about this game and you're a little 12 year old watching this, let me just say it's taking everything I own right now not to snap this game in half and throw it out the fucking window. This game is garbage. I saw this game from 2015 for Xbox One, PS4 for 30 bucks, and I was like, holy shit, that's a steal. That's a red flag. That's not a steal. That's a red flag saying don't pick up this game. When it says requires internet, that's another fucking red flag. Don't pick up this game. I don't even know where to begin. The movie scenes, it's a racing game. I play Forza. I play... Gran Turismo, you know, I'm in my late 20s, I grew up with those games, and these games, like Need for Speed, have been around for a long time, since PC. This is junk, this is garbage. You don't need story modes in a video game, I'm sorry, you just don't. Forza, Gran Turismo, wicked racing games, realistic as our generation can get. And they don't have movie scenes, you don't need movie scenes, They're, that's stupid. That's fucking, I don't, cool, it's real people. I've seen a lot of these people on Jay Leno's Garage. I've creeped their YouTube account. I know who Ken Block is, okay? I don't need to see him in video games. Cool, you're a famous race car driver. This is a fake pretend game. Let me sweep up my car, play the racing game, beat the bosses, get my achievement points, and end it like that. Now, when you pause this game, your car keeps moving. <sighs> You know what I talk about because I'm fucking falling asleep talking about this thing. Sorry, I was trying to play it. I couldn't stay awake. You can't pause the game. That is going to make for more rage quits than more than you can think of on Call of Duty times a million. I don't normally rip on games because I do like the pride and and the time they take to make video games. And I thought, you know what? Need for Speed is going every two years now, not every year, because when you mass produce something that's already mass produced every six to ten months, it's like, holy shit, it's the same recycled crap like Call of Duty, just with different maps or just with different environments, you know? They went back to Need for Speed Underground, I'm like, woohoo, wicked. I'm glad I got the Platinum card because I can return the game within ten days. I'm ready to shut down, I can't talk about this game. I'm tired. I can at least return this game within 10 days. As long as I do it soon, because my... When did I buy this? I got till the 16th. Oh, it's this crappy-ass game is mine. I want to pick up Halo, but apparently Halo sucked ass too, and I want to pick up Far Cry Primal. But it looks a lot like Far Cry 4. I guess I'm going to have to go with Uncharted. Never played all the other Uncharted games. I don't want to be a poser and just jump into part four. I don't know what the hell's going on in the game, but whatever. 80 bucks for a game is retarded, so I gotta fork out another 50 bucks. I just, I can't believe, I really want to like this game, but I just can't. You know, um, I don't know what to say. You can't pause it. The story modes are shit. You need online to play, which is totally pathetic, because a lot of people don't care to buy uh, Xbox Live or the PlayStation Store crap. You know? It's just a fail in this ghost engine that they use. Woohoo! You know what? The graphics are good, but graphics aren't everything. It's an arcade game. When you hit a wall at 150 miles an hour, it does nothing. You bounce off. So what's the point of graphics then? They're worth nothing. They're garbage. It's a garbage game. Don't buy this piece of crap. Um, look the other way. Buy Kirby from like 1991. Um, stay far away from this game. It's terrible. 
And every time you race, it takes two or three minutes to complete a race, and there's another nine minute movie clip you gotta watch. Oh my god. It's same old cars, better graphics, garbage. Don't waste your money on this crap. It's 30 bucks for a reason. Um, he uses like, which isn't too bad, apparently like 100 megabytes an hour, which is fuck all, but no one's playing this crap. And if you are, you're a 10 year old kid that doesn't know how to play a real racing game. Sorry, just saying. Um, if this is your kind of, if this is the new generation of racing, I am pathetically sad for you and I feel sorry for you in every way and I don't even want to own a Playstation or an Xbox anymore if this is the kind of garbage that they're going to produce. I'm done talking about this. It sucks. 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 Don't buy this game guys. Sorry. I'm just here to give you some advice. You want to know what a real fucking racing game looks like? That's what a real fucking racing game looks like. Forza. Okay. There you go. Spend 80, 80 bucks and pick up a real racing game. Talk to you later.